Hey, what's up guys? I have some really exciting stuff to share with you about a new RGB software that some of you have seen me talking about on Reddit and on Discord constantly. First, I'd like to start off by clarifying some stuff. I work and have been working with Whirlwind FX for over a year now, and this new application called Signal RGB is one of the projects that I've been heavily involved in. Let's start off with what Signal RGB actually is. Signal RGB is a free application that allows you to control RGB hardware from major brands like Corsair, Razer, SteelSeries, HyperX, Logitech, and more, all inside of this one application. This means that if you choose to, you can completely uninstall all your RGB applications and only use Signal RGB. It doesn't need an SDK like JackNet RGB Sync. This is important because if you ever want to build a setup that has more than one brand, you'd normally need to install multiple RGB applications. And I know for a fact that some of you have chosen to go with only one brand, even if you don't like a specific product from that brand, just because you want to have one software to control everything. Well, Signal RGB completely removes that barrier. If you want to have a Corsair keyboard and Logitech's amazing G502 mouse, well now you can, and you can control both devices inside of Signal RGB. If you've been following me for a while, then you'll know that I made a promise to eventually get all of my RGB profiles working on every single major brand. When Whirlwind FX approached me, asking for my help and opinions on how to develop Signal RGB, I knew right away that this was the way to deliver my promise. Over the past few months, we've recreated all of my top RGB themes inside of Signal RGB, including Space, Neon Storm, Monsoon, Riptide, and my various collections like Cherry Berry, Neon, Pastel, and so many more. Now you not only have my profiles, but you also have the ability to use my profiles across over 150 devices from all of the major brands. In the span of one year, we've not only recreated all of my top RGB profiles and implemented multiple audio visualizers, but we've also created over 80 game integrations from some of the best games that not even Corsair or Razer have. You can see the full list of supported games in the video description. We're updating these integrations all the time to feature new effects and fix bugs, and at the same time we're developing new integrations for games that you guys requested. In addition to the game integrations, we're looking at the long list of devices that you guys want supported and we're going after them to add them as soon as possible. Now let's get down to what makes Signal RGB so special. Every RGB application out there uses a very basic system for creating RGB content. You select certain keys or LEDs on certain devices and apply some layers to each device one at a time using the preset functions that the application provides. Signal RGB uses an entirely different approach that solves multiple problems for creators and users. Signal RGB utilizes an HTML5 and JavaScript canvas to create what we call light scripts. The easiest way to explain this is to imagine that you're a painter that can paint anything on a canvas and the devices will capture from that canvas. This means that you don't need to select each individual device and create specific layers for each device one at a time in order to have lighting on each device. Instead, even if you know the most basic web development, then you can now create an RGB theme that works across over 150 devices without ever needing to own the physical devices. So the first problem we've solved is easy device support when creating your themes because whatever you put on the canvas will show up on all the devices that Signal RGB supports. The second problem we've solved is now you're not limited to the basic functions of traditional RGB software. You can create anything that you want using HTML5 and JavaScript code. To further expand on what I mean by anything, here's a light script that captures real-time COVID-19 cases from a website and displays that data on all the devices. Something else worth mentioning is that you don't need to import any light scripts like you do in IQ and Synapse. It's all built into the dashboard and you can easily browse all of our light scripts and install whatever you want. There's no need to go onto websites, download profiles, and deal with the slow importing process for each individual file. Also, have you ever wanted one of my profiles to be a different color, but you just can't wrap your head around IQ and how to edit each layer? Well, in Signal RGB, each light script has sliders and toggles that are built in so that you can change color, speed, and other settings of each light script, and then you can save them as a custom preset. Signal RGB's system even allows you to make your own game integrations if you really know what you're doing. Our game integrations use screen analysis and optical character recognition to read data off of the interface of the game that you're playing and then it triggers effects accordingly. An easy way to show you this is if you look at Minecraft's heart meter, with our application, you can look for changes in the heart meter, and when it notices a specific change, then you can tell the application to trigger any effect that you want. In this case, it's a red flash. This solves a third huge problem. Now you don't have to wait for Corsair or Razer to make an exclusive deal with a game company that will have the game developers integrate their products into the game. Our system completely removes the need of game developers and integrations because it doesn't require you to stick any files or code into the game. Signal RGB's method is also a lot faster. If you look at IQ, Someone at Corsair has to actually go into IQ and create individual effects on each Corsair device one at a time using the super slow and unintuitive method that I discussed earlier. Then the game developers have to go make each of those files an effect that triggers based on certain events in the game. Now not only was a ton of time spent making the IQ RGB profiles, but the game developers have to take time to go code the triggers for each of those IQ profiles. This is why they have a limited selection of game integrations and also why it takes them months to make a single game integration. And thanks to the system I discussed earlier, anytime we add a new RGB device in Signal RGB, it will work on all of our game integrations immediately. On top of screen analysis and optical character recognition, Signal RGB also has audio recognition so you can detect high frequencies, low frequencies, and so on. We have a couple unique audio visualizer light scripts that make use of this feature. 
You can also make your own audio visualizer light scripts. Our engine has no limits as long as you can code it. Another feature that's worth mentioning is SignalRGB's device positioning feature. You can position each device to capture effects from any place on the canvas. You can not only position every single device, but you can also rotate and scale them, which changes how the effect looks on the device. This solves a few problems, like if you're left-handed and you want the effects to flow to the mouse on the left side of your keyboard. Or let's say you install the fan upside down, well that won't even matter because you can just rotate it on the canvas. The final feature I want to mention is screen ambience. Since it's such a popular thing, I just wanted to mention that we do have screen ambience in Signal RGB and it's pixel accurate. So whatever you see on the screen is what you're going to see on the devices. So now that we've covered all of this, I'd like to tell you what the vision is for Signal RGB moving forward. We're going to continue constantly updating and creating new game integrations. If we see a new big game release, we're going to go and make an integration for it. We're also going to continue to add new device support that is never going to stop because there are so many RGB devices out there and there's always new ones that are being released and we have to keep up with that. Currently, we don't support many SM bus components, but we're working on adding all of the most popular motherboards, RAM, and graphics cards. We're also planning to implement a macro system and a fan speed control system so that you can not only use Signal RGB for RGB lighting, but you'll also be able to use it for setting up custom macros and changing the speed of your fans. There's one thing I'd like to get out of the way because I've seen a small number of people make nasty comments about it. Signal RGB is completely free to use with over 70 different effects, including my own effects, and it also comes with a free audio visualizer. Now the part I've heard nasty comments about is that we charge a monthly subscription, only $3 to get access to our game integrations. The reason for this is very straightforward. We have a team of people that are working full time every single day and we literally cannot keep doing this without the subscription. You are more than welcome to use Signal RGB for free without the game integrations and you'd still be getting more out of it than you would be using IQ. I also wanna thank everybody that's already subscribed to Signal RGB Pro because it's quite literally fueling our development. If you want to get started with Signal RGB, I've left a link for where you can download it in the video description. I hope after watching this video, you all understand why I'm transitioning over to Signal RGB and moving away from IQ and Synapse. I'll continue making RGB profiles for IQ and Synapse, but once Signal RGB is ready and working for everyone, then I hope you all follow me onto the platform because it's where creators can be much more creative and experience a lot less trouble creating content for your RGB devices. Thanks for watching, guys.